Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial from Kanye's Arts. My name is Seanak Patwardhan and today I'm gonna show you how to create this wiggly grunge effect in After Effects. This is a pretty easy and quick effect, so let's dive right into it. We'll start by creating the grungy background first. So once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition. And I'm going to change a few of these properties. I need this to be a 2000 by 2000 composition. And I'm going to change the frame rate to 30. And I'm going to call this the Animated Texture. Press Enter. Let's create a new solid here. You can either go to layer, new, and solid, or you can just press Ctrl Y on your keyboard. That is exactly what I'm gonna do because it's just faster and easier. So we have a solid, press OK. Now I'm gonna add a bunch of effects to this solid to create the texture. So let's start by first adding the fractal noise effect. Change the contrast. To 35 and the brightness to minus 19 now go to transform and I need this texture to be kind of uh, horizontal so I'm gonna switch off uniform scaling and change the width to 5000 and the height to 150 maybe 140 maybe 130 yeah that looks good I need to animate this so to do that let's animate the evolution but instead of animating it directly from here I'm gonna use a time expression on this so if you alt click on the stopwatch you can add an expression to any property that is uh, that has a stopwatch on it so here let's type in time multiplied by hundred uh, thousand sorry and it's always a good habit to end an expression with a semicolon so we have an animated texture here now these edges are a little too smooth so i'm gonna add a turbulent displace to this change the amount to 80 and uh, let's reduce the size of this a little bit i need it to be pretty fine so i guess two is good i need this to have a little more grunge so Let's add some grain to this. Add grain. Viewing mode can be changed to final output. And uh, tweaking, in the tweaking tab, change the intensity to 8. Okay, change it to 7. 8 is a little more than what I need. And the aspect ratio to 10. Now, this animation is happening at 30 FPS which I don't really want for this particular composition. I need it to be a little bit lesser. So let's add the posterize time effect. And change the frame rate to 12. Also, we need to make this texture look not so fine and, uh, you know, detailed. I need it to be a little bit of, um, of a cartoony effect. So let's add the posterize effect to this. I'm gonna add some CC vector blur and I'm gonna add it between the two posterize time and posterize effects and I'm gonna change this to 25. I think I'll reduce the turbulent displace a little bit. Okay, uh, now I don't really need this texture to have any color so I'm gonna add a hue saturation effect. And I'm going to change the saturation to minus 100 to its lowest value. So there is no color on this now, which is cool. Okay, we're done with the animated texture comp. Let's create a new composition. And this is going to be 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to leave the frame rate to 30 FPS. And let's call this main comp. Press OK. Let's create a new solid here and let's call this background for BG for background. Press OK. 
and I'm gonna give this a gradient ramp let's swap the colors and let's change this to a radial ramp and let's move this right into the center and this point a little bit outside one of the corners and the start color can be a very dark color any color is fine I'm gonna give this a bit of a darker cyan color teal I don't know what this color can be called but yeah press OK now let's drag the animated texture above the BG comp and let's give this another CC vector blur change the amount to 25 let's add the posterize effect here as well and the level I'm gonna change this to 15 yeah that's cool and I'm gonna rotate this texture a little bit maybe minus 45 45 is cool and I'm gonna scale this up so that it fills in the entire area of this composition and let's change the opacity to 5% I need it to be just visible but not enough so that uh, it's just in the background let's create the text part of this so so okay go to the text tool and let's create some text since it's the start of a new year so let's say happy new year I'm gonna change the font a little bit okay that looks neat it's a chunky font and you can change this to any font by the way it's just that uh, for this particular tutorial I'm using this particular font okay that looks nice uh, just FYI make sure that there is no stroke on this layer this is your stroke value it changes the stroke if you have a stroke here if you have uh, any kind of stroke here you can see it from here make sure that there is no stroke on this and why you need to do this you will understand in a few more minutes let's drag an animated texture below the text and change this to an alpha mat by the way if you don't see this here you can press the F4 key on your keyboard to toggle between these modes or you can just click here it does the same thing all right so now we have the animated texture I'm gonna change this I'm gonna rotate this to 45 degrees and uh, maybe scale it a little bit in so but make sure that it doesn't go below the boundaries of this text or it'll start getting cut so maintain a balance now let's add a tritone on this texture and uh, let's make it very bright colors something like this and I'm just gonna copy this and maybe reduce it a little bit so that the texture is visible if you want a very uh, stronger grunge you can reduce the shadows value on this so that uh, you know get you get more contrast in the grunge but I want it somewhere around here so that's cool now let's add a little bit of a wiggle on the text go to turbulent displays and change the amount to 20 and the size to 25 so now we have this distorted effect on the text now to make it wiggle let's animate the evolution with the same expression I'll click on the stopwatch and type in time into thousand semicolon enter and now we have some wiggle on the text now select the text and the animated texture and press Ctrl D on your keyboard, Ctrl or Command D on your keyboard to duplicate them. And now for the upper layer, go to Character tab and change the stroke to 2. And the fill, we need to remove the fill. So if you click on the fill color and click on this no fill color, it will change to no fill color. It basically looks like this right now. To offset it a little bit so that it wiggles separately we need to go to the um, 
turbulent displays and in the evolution options we need to change the seed to any color except the one that you have here which was zero which was the default so now the stroke of this text animates independently compared to the fill of this which kind of creates an interesting effect and now you can change the color you can do whatever you want with the upper layer separately so i'm gonna maybe change the color a little bit you can either do it from here or we can just add a use saturation effect to this and maybe change the saturation to some other color which can look interesting on this maybe something like this does this look interesting i don't know you tell me i think it looks cool or you can even desaturate it a little bit or completely and change the lightness so that you know it has kind of a different effect which is cool anything works here guys you can go crazy with the colors and uh, maybe to make this a little more contrasty we can add an adjustment layer to this go to layer new adjustment layer and I'm gonna change the brightness contrast on this the contrast can be maybe a hundred that's a little too much change the brightness to maybe 60 if I preview this you'll be able to see what we have done and that is the end of the tutorial please like and share the video and consider subscribing to Kanye's Arts if you would like to get more updates and tutorials in the future also I upload some early updates and other exclusive stuff to Instagram Facebook and Twitter as well so check those out too you'll find links to all of those in the description of this video and if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding this tutorial, you can post them in the comment section as well. Until the next time, Shonak over and out.